Good afternoon and welcome to number 43, Davana Gardens, which is situated in the quite newly uh, constructed development, which is called King's Moat. Uh, this part of the development was done by Taylor Wimpy, situated just off the Wrexham Road or the A483, really convenient for the city centre and for bus travel. The Wrexham bus passes approximately every 10 to 15 minutes into the city. You can also walk in quite comfortably within about 15 minutes. You can walk to the Westminster Park shops as well, and again around the 10 to 15 minute mark. But driving into the city is very, very simple, around a five minute drive. Now we're at the front of the development, what I quite like about this particular plot, I call it a plot, it's about three years old now, so you've got about seven years of an HBC guarantee left. But it's position within the development I really, really like. Opposite the property is a nature reserve. When the builders developed the property, um, they found there was a badger set in here, so they had to keep this, so this will never be built on. There's also a bee reserve in there as well, so a little bit of nature. It's actually called the signage and seating over there, the King's Moat Garden Village. You can also see in the distance, you can almost touch it, the King's High School. So if you're looking for a private school, that is literally within walking distance. There are traffic lights which take your children safely across the road to one of Chester's best secondary schools. So at the front of the property, we're a three-storey townhouse, really well laid out accommodation, ideal for a family. We've got at least a double length driveway here with parking for at least two large cars. The owner has installed as well an electric charger point here as well. So you've got an electric vehicle. We're all set up right next to the front door. Um, so that is something that's going to come really into the, into the high importance with properties as times come on and we get more electric vehicles. There's a timber gate which gives you access to the just off west, westerly facing rear garden, so you're going to get an awful lot of sun in the afternoon. So as I take you through the composite front door into the property, we're greeted by modern contemporary grey carpet. You've got a metre covered storage cupboard here and you've got stairs up to the first floor. So as we enter the main living room, we come in here. Again, the theme of the grey carpet continues, but the walls are all very neutrally presented, so we're all off-white, nothing that would clash. Obviously, it's UPVC that glazed all the way through, being new build, and you've got a fine aspect from all the front-facing rooms across the nature reserve, across to the Wrexham Road, but I think we're far enough away from the road noise not to be an issue, but the convenience of the position to be a positive. So that's the living room. And as I take you through now to the dining kitchen, what I like about the layout here as well, is as you come in, you've got quite a large walk-in downstairs cloakroom slash WC. The modern building regulations maintain that downstairs loos now have to widen for a wheelchair, so you get really good sized cloakrooms. Now I won't show you in here, because it's doing its job rather proudly, it's a really, really deep storage cupboard, so that's where everything is hidden to make the house look so tidy today. So we then move into the dining kitchen. You've got UPVC double French doors onto a patio. Now this patio, you don't get this when you buy them from you. The owner has landscaped the garden, providing a large patio, great entertaining area. And you've also got a lawn which has been re-turfed. Because again, on new builds, often with all the building, your lawn is never quite right unless you do some considerable work to it, which our client has done. We've got very, very easy vinyl flooring. Again, light grey theme with a fitted range of white high gloss units. There's an integrated fridge freezer on the edge here. Um, all the integrated appliances are Zanussi, you've got an integrated dishwasher here, your boiler, which is an ideal combination boiler, is situated in this cupboard here. You've got a grill and electric oven, again Zanussi here, with a gas hob, stainless steel splashback extractor, we've got built-in spot lighting, so it's a really comfortable, nice kitchen. Like I say, come the afternoon, the sun is going to be coming round into the back garden. I'll show you the back garden now. What I like about the garden, you've got this lovely seating area here, we're well enclosed, and like I say, the lawn's been done, it's very, very easy to maintain, but the most important thing is you can come in, you've got a ready done lawn, and you've got a large entertaining patio. So that's the back garden. West, by the way, is approximately here. So that is where the sunset's gonna fall on this corner patio. Not bad, not bad at all. So that's the ground floor. Now let me take you up to the first of three floors. So as we walk back through to the living room, back through this lovely living room with the grey carpet, back into the entrance hall, and then we go up the stairs to the first floor. So the carpet has continued, which gives a nice flow throughout the house. Now on the landing of the first floor, we've got another good size storage cupboard, which I won't show you again to save the owner's blushes but it is quite a good landing wardrobe, so good hanging space in there. We've got three bedrooms on the first floor. Um, first one being bedroom two here, which is front facing. 
Nice aspect again across to the nature reserve. So it's a good sized double bedroom. Like I say, you've got a nice aspect there because you've got the grounds of King's High School as well as the nature reserve. Okay, so that's bedroom two. We're slightly out of order. And then we've got two further bedrooms to the rear. So we've got a double bedroom back here. So this is overlooking the rear garden. And again, here there's room for a wardrobe, there's room for bedside cabinet. And then there's a further bedroom. Again, another double bedroom. Bedrooms two, three, and four being on the first floor. Again, this bedroom has got a useful single wardrobe which is already built in, just to the right hand side. And then completing the first floor accommodation is the main family bathroom. As you can expect, it's a pristine three-piece white suite. Everything's been done. The shower is off the boiler with a glazed shower screen. What I like, again, about the accommodation here is sometimes a study can be a waste of a bedroom. The owner here has got a little landing which takes you to the second floor. And he's cleverly um, put in a desk here, which I think makes a, a good use of this space. It'd be quite a big landing if nothing was on it. Again, what I like about the desk is you've got a great outlook. So if you're, if you're doing your work from here, you've got a great outlook, and this is all you need in a study. So four bedrooms, but I'm counting this as, as a study on top. So up, up to the second floor is the master bedroom suite. Um, this is what the owner told me convinced him to buy this property, was the size of the main bedroom. And the fact that if you've got children, you've got a little bit where you're out of the way. So you've got your own space up here. It's a really good sized double bedroom. You know, you've got a king size bed, which is absolutely dwarfed within the room. You've got the front aspect again, which I know I keep droning on about, but in a new development, it's quite important to make sure you've got one of the better plots. Our client here was in quite early, so he chose this plot for the particular reason of the outlook. And it doesn't feel as if you're buried within the estate. You feel like you've got some greenery. Now, again, this master bedroom, really, really light, because you've got the front bedroom window, but then to the rear, you've got a Velux double glazed window, which sheds lighting in the afternoon. So your, your morning light's coming in from the front, afternoon light from the back. And then completing the accommodation on this property is an ensuite shower room. Again, good size shower room. They're all Roka suites. Um, again, pristine, only two to three years old, but a good size double walk-in shower cubicle. And this shower is electric, which I quite like. You never know, things go wrong with the gas system. You've still got the ability to shower. Chrome heater towel rail, and again, light coming in by a double glazed Velux window. So that is the guided tour of 43 Devana Gardens. I really, really like it. And I think this development, which is still being built, but at the frontage, you don't feel as if you're within the building site. The property is ready to go. There shouldn't be a chain with it. So if you would like to book a view, give us a call at Current Homes. We're on 01244 313 900. Thank you very much for watching.